Eric Yelsma brainstormed his idea to open a denim business back in 2008, just as the financial crisis was picking up steam. Today, his shop is one of the only jean manufacturers in Detroit. It all started when he lost his sales job at a chemical company after the stock market crashed and oil hit an all-time high of $100, devastating the company. They just axed my division entirely, and there I was without a job. And I kind of realized at that point that I really didn't like what I was doing. It sucked. And so I had this fascination, this just this burning desire to about jeans. Yelsma started a business going against industry trends. Nowadays, most jeans are mass produced, but at Detroit Denim, each pair is made by hand. A small team of 10 turn out about 40 pairs of selvage jeans a week. Each pair takes about four hours to make. It started, it really started when I had a pair of my favorite jeans and I would take them to my tailor and she'd repair them. And they got so threadbare and so worn, she refused to stop. Uh, fixing my jeans. And I said, would you make me a pair? And she told me it couldn't be done. And so that was kind of the seed that was planted of like, you can't make a pair of jeans. And I'm like, maybe I can. But making jeans in America in 2018 is a difficult feat. Last year, one of the few standing denim mills in the country, the Cone Mills White Oak Plant, shut down. The factory used to supply to heavy hitters like Wranglers and Levi's. Now, there are only about four denim mills left in the country. The U.S. dominated this market 20 years ago, but since then, globalization pushed manufacturing overseas. More than 50% of denim is now made in countries like Bangladesh, China, and India. Though resources are scarce, Eric still sources the majority of his denim domestically, from spots like Denimburg in Texas. I wanted, it, I wanted it made in Detroit. I wanted it, you know, locally made, and there was no option. Detroit denim jeans aren't cheap. Their priciest pair comes in at $265. That's more than the average cost of jeans in the United States, $211 for men and $165 for women. Most of the price comes from the expensive materials and handwork. Brenna, who's a production manager on the team, says it takes about 87 steps to make a single pair. There's a lot of steps involved in making a jean. So we have to cut the jeans out, and then they move it through their different cells. And at this point, we marry them together, and then it goes on to finishing. The company's team has more than doubled since the financial crisis, and they bring about $800,000 a year. But for Yelsma, making a local impact in the city he's grown up in is even more important. Kind of like a microbrew versus a big brewery. I want to be, you know, I'd like to be about 100 people. I'd like to do everything, you know, from start to finish, complete turnkey here in Detroit and be known as a world-class manufacturer. You know, we don't make clothes for everybody, but we make really good clothes for people who care about that.